Good afternoon, everybody. Hi, it's Sunday. Uh, and as you can see, I'm still at home. Yeah, a uh, bit of a story. We were planning on going down to the coast to open put flowers down for my dad because uh, it was the anniversary of when he passed away on Wednesday. Wednesday wasn't too bad. Today, I woke up and just one of those days, you know, when you wake up, yeah. No. <laughs> so, just staying at home. I just don't feel up to going down today. I don't know why. Can't put my finger on it. I've just woke up like that and I've explained it to Denise. Uh, I'm actually feeling today the way I was expecting to feel on Wednesday, but Wednesday actually felt fine. But today I don't. Uh, so. Just staying at home today. The girls have just gone shopping, they're going to Madeline and gonna pick up the, the dinners from the, the fossils. So I'm just staying at home and gonna get on with what I should have done <laughs> two or three weeks ago, which is cleaning the fish tank. Um I've already started that and as you can see, the state of this it needs a damn good cleaning. So yeah. I suppose the fish aren't stoned on the ammonia. You know, it's about as the knocker boy. Hey, hey tripping. <laughs> um, I have had one fatality a couple of weeks ago. One of the fish sort of died. Uh, but my shrimp made short sure work of that. Yeah, we st as soon as, uh, as soon as there's a fish, uh, as soon as a fish dies, he's there. Uh, poof, he drags it un underneath the rock, and that's the last you see of it. Um, so we don't need to worry about fishing, <laughs> fishing the dead fish out. You know, because the shrimp gets them. Uh, I've asked Denise to, which is our pets at home, get some dried cat food and um, get a few more of them shrimp. They last for a while, I think. Apparently, they last for a couple of years. Uh, he does well, you know. It's fun watching them. But, yeah. Just one of those days today, you know. Um, I'm going to try and remember. I've got a few questions to answer. I'll try and do them at the end of today's vlog. So, yeah. Lovely weather though today. We've got, we've got the washing out again. Um, it's lovely and sunny and breezy and ideal washing day. And as you can hear, the neighbour's cutting his grass there. So, yeah, I'll get on with doing this fish tank and I'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Well, guys, guess what? Hey, I've done the fish tanks at last. Been putting it off for three weeks. They were absolutely filthy. And I'm pleased to see we still have shrimp. Oh, they must have been hiding. There's a few still there. Uh, but yes, I've got another surprise here. Mm. Look at this. Whoa. Denise and George has brought a Mackey D's. That's a nice, nice surprise. Suggestion. Well, that doesn't surprise us, really. <laughs> yeah. Hello, darling. Hello. Denise looks a little bit stressed. Been I'm out fine. For, been out for hours and she's uh, still not got everything done. Oh, Dad. I've got so much to tell people. Oh, what's that? Stop being all chick. Hey. What? When we went to McDonald's, friend, can I have three chicken legends, please? And they went. Right and they went, what type of legend? She went, chicken. They went, no, what sauce? So I was sitting in the car and, what kind of legend? Chicken. Well, obviously, ma'am. What are you going to get? Turkey, beef, armadillo. <laughs> armadillo! I went ham. I went not, obviously it's going to be chicken. Damn. <laughs> yeah, okie dokie. <laughs> anyway, tuck in. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you very much, darling. Hey? Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you, Georgia. Yes, Georgia. So, we're comfy there. Molly right. was there before, she was just like hiding there now. And we've got the other one here. Costa's line here. Yes. Oh, food. Oh, look what they got. They got us three more Amano shrimp. Brilliant. For the big fish tank. I don't know where the other one is. They eat around somewhere. These seem to last for ages. Yeah. Just acclimatising them to the water. Then I'll start introducing some water. Uh, and dripping it in, get them used to that, then and then release them. Yeah, 
Flambeck to be out. <laughs> Have you seen the fog there just shoot up all of a sudden? There he is. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Well. That OTG thing I was talking about last night is a bit of a sod to use. So I did end up in the end doing it all on the phone. It's the transfer and stuff to the either one or both the devices will be saying, oh no, the, the memory card's full or this or it's not recognised or whatever. It just keeps coming up with all sorts of things. So I really struggled to flip and copy the stuff from one device to another. In the end, I gave up. <laughs> Sorry. I'll give it another go another time. Um, I'll format that flash drive so it's completely empty then uh, I'll give it a go another time because at the moment I think it's got a couple of music albums on and it's a 16 gig drive mind should should recognize it uh, should be enough space in there uh, obviously not yeah we've just had to come in well the girls are just away to B and M going to get some of them wooden fancy things to go around the edge of the garden um, and they're going to go down and get the Sunday dinners. They haven't even done that yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's just started raining. It's not even forecast for rain. I was checking it this morning. It was like sunny intervals, then cloudy, but it was still going to stay up like 18 degrees or whatever. And not a mention of rain anywhere. But no, it started raining. So I had to bring the washing in. Hopefully it'll be dry anyway because it's been quite hot out there. I'm damn glad I've got these fish tanks done. I've been putting it off for weeks. Uh, but yes, it's done now. So one less thing to worry about. Has anybody else noticed anything with regards to their subs? Have they, I know one or two people have mentioned it. Have you notice a decrease in your subs like you've lost some somewhere or whatever I, I definitely lost a few and then it just seemed to stop like my subs have hardly moved over the last sort of like month or something um it's a bit frustrating you know <laughs> it's, uh, it is uh i don't know if like youtube maybe i know they do every now and then do a sweep for dead channels things like that so that would maybe account for the loss of some but uh I don't know, I, I seem to be losing them. Uh, or they just seem to stagnate and then they're not going anywhere. Because it's frustrating because my next milestone's 500. And I'm sort of stuck, like roughly about 440. And it's really frustrating because I'm dying to get the 500. I think I'd be really chuffed with that. Because I never even thought I'd get anywhere near well, what I've got, you know. And I've totally beat everything that I did on... The old Coffee in a Slice of Life channel. Uh, this has been, this channel, The Right Times, has been far, far more successful. Well, it stopped raining. Didn't rain for very long, it was just spitting down. There's Molly. Here's Franklin. And here's the things I've just got from B&M. So they're going to go across there, go around to a little wild area. Yeah. Nice solid ones, hopefully it should last a bit longer. Go on, show me your, your massive blister. <laughs> I don't know if you can Where see is it. Where's it? Point yeah. to it. Oh, you see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because... Da, 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 I don't Nasty know. mallet. He's been putting that in. I started, I started to help, but my back started to hurt straight away, but it looks a lot better. So that whole area is going to be for weeds, you know, to, help the, to help the butterflies and bees and wasps and spiders and bugs, and all that sort of thing. Just a bit of wildlife, you know, a bit of wild, wild foliage, etc. Uh, you did like do stuff with their rocks and everything, where they just spread them out in amongst the gaps. And we've got some topsoil to put in there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
Springwatch will be proud of us. <laughs> Any excuse not to do the weeding, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Right, Denise likes uh, that little bit there in front of the in front of the bird bath. She seems to like all oh, the buttercups has grown there, even though that's meant to be garden. That's meant to be grass. Hmm. Yes. It does. Look at you know all over. Home base. Home base. Matlan. Pets at home. Pets at home. Then being uh, pink the dinners up, being in an Iceland. Mm. Busy getting dinner. You're doing well. <laughs> Got the dinners. Yes. What we're having? Beef. Beef. So beef. And uh, the gravy's made with um, sherry. Oh, nice. It's really nice. Is it my, my favourite kind of beef? Yes. Which is? Nice beef. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it sounds like somebody's just fed outside. Mm. This is what we've done so far. <laughs> Not great, but it, it's, uh, it's like a nice a little little area for, for butterflies and wasps and bees and spiders and bugs and everything. A little wild area. Sort of ran out of rocks. I was sort of hoping to have rocks right up the front. Might have to try and get some from somewhere. But uh, it's coming on. Yeah, it's uh, looking good, but oh, stingage. I just picked up a rock uh, I stuck behind in the bushes at the back there and didn't realise there's nettles in amongst that lot. Hello. Uh, so I just, all my fingertips are just stung to bits off the nettles. Yeah, look. It's looking alright. It's coming on. <laughs> yes. Well done, darling. <laughs> you fed up now? You want to rest? I'm just enjoying the rain. Yeah, that's lovely. It's just starting to spit down with rain. It's nice. Yes. Hi, guys, we're back. Look, I've had a shave and my hair as well. Very I smart. Haven't. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, yeah, so a lot of bath and shave and everything we've had with tea, which was very nice indeed. Um, I'm just settling down now to watch some TV. But I've got a couple of questions to answer first. So I'll pass you over to... Yeah. So this is from my namesake, Denise Reynolds. Hi, Denise. It says, have you, have you or Denise ever had a fashion disaster? You know, like a piece of clothing that you love so much, you thought it looked great, and until you look back on the photos, etc. Well, there's not that many photos of me to start off with anyway, because like digital photography is a new thing, and I never, my family were never really into photography, so I'm quite safe there. <laughs> Some hairstyles, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, unfortunately, I have had quite a few. Um, Fashion, was it faux pas or whatever? Yeah. Tends to be with me glasses. Remember, I had oh. massive Deirdre Barlow's. They were like huge. Anybody who watches Coronation Street and remembers Deirdre Barlow yeah, had they came heat. under here, up here. They were absolutely massive. Yeah. Um, I did have a very dodgy hairstyle once. Um, which I don't know if I was. I don't think I was with you. Um, where it was like spiky on top, and then it was just hanging at the back. That sounds like very 1980s. Bit of a mullet going on. <laughs> clothes uh, wise, I have to say, I've never ever been very fashionable, so probably me clothes that I wear now are the fashion for bust. <laughs> yeah, same, yeah, actually, same. Yeah, I just wear what the hell I'm comfortable in. Doesn't yeah. have to be trendy or anything. <laughs> if if I'm comfortable in it, that's it. Uh, the only th the only things I can think of off the top of my head, I know I had a pair of baseball boots which I acquired from God knows where when I was in the middle school. And they had massive sort of soles, like about that sort of thick on the bottom. Like proper wedges. They were nearly like platform baseball boots. But they were like a weird weird colours as well, so I've no idea where I got them. And um I somehow acquired and I've no idea where from again, a pair of like boots they would wear like in boxing. They're like they're long and they lace all the way up, they like go halfway up your shin, but they're like quite a soft material. 
Yeah, them I thought they were quite cool, but probably looking bad they weren't. They used to wear something called, uh, I think they were called culottes. Culottes. When, uh, when I was younger, yeah. It, it looked sort of like a skirt for trousers type of thing. I went through that phase and there was a place here called Geordie Jeans. Oh, Geordie Jeans, yeah. And I had <laughs> every single colour imaginable that they sold. Red, blue. They just had so many different coloured jeans and I bought every single pair of burgundy. There was just loads of them. Uh, I can't think of anything else for me. Um, I know I've had parkas and things like that, and um, yeah, I think I can't think of anything. Yeah, when me and my friends were younger, we used to go to this street. It's a like, how do you describe Westgate Road? It's where so all, mot the, all motorbike shops yeah, up this hill, and that, and then it, um, we used to go down on a Saturday. I think oh, we were cool, but like leather jackets on and. Black lipstick and all that. Hang around with all the bikers watching, pulling wheelies up the street. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. actually drive up there every single day now, but it's nothing like it used to be. The only bikes I got whizzing up and down there now are like delivery bikes. <laughs> uh, hairstyles, yeah. I used to have... I, I never used to have like shaped hair, obviously. When I was younger, I had like, brown hair, but it was always dead thick and wavy, and it was always a mess. But from when I was a little boy... Like for school photos, it was all like like a wave and everything here. And everything. Cause you've got quite wavy hair, haven't you? When I it's have. Long. Yeah, it's wavy. That's that's why I got sick of it and I just shave it off now. So we'll have to find some photos. Well, there is one, but it's that old. It's like you know when you get the photos taken in the seventies, and after a few years, it has that sort of like that tint to it where it makes your hair look ginger and things like that. That's what it looks like. Um. I haven't got ginger hair before Brendan even jumps on that one. The, the West Aussie, because I take the mick out of him for being being a ranger. Uh, no, I'd like, I always had like wavy hair, so I'll just shave it off now. I did once have it done like Paul Young and Paul Young, the singer, and John Taylor, like the mullet, long hair, spiky on top. I actually went to. See, a, that was my style. Hold on. This was once because I knew a new woman that owned a hairdresser, and she said, Come on, I'll do it. And I went there, and m that much hairspray, I was and flipping, might as well spray this in starch or something, you know. Went out, <laughs> looking amazing. I thought, yeah, I look so cool here. Spiky hair up here, the lot, you know, Nick Kershaw, Paul Young, that lot. Um, get up in the morning, you can't do anything with it. So I was just like, <laughs> I spent a fortune for one night looking like this. <laughs> that, that was back in the 80s. Do I just press it? Want to make yeah, just touch it. Right. Yeah. There right. you go. Katie Alton. Hello. Hi, Katie. How did you and Denise meet? And did either of you ever want to go to uni? If so, what would you have studied? So, we sort of met through other people, didn't we? Well, through work, initially. Like work. I got to know her through work on the phone. She was a voice on the phone at first. Yeah. Um... And then obviously because I was with the ex -bus husband now, which you were who, friends with. Who and, was me made at the time. And mm -hmm. that. Um, we well, sort of just got together and... Yeah. yeah. Well, we used to go on holidays and everything together. And... But I was, was I about 22? I can't remember. I don't know, I wasn't even born then. And you were 22. <laughs> Very funny. Um... <laughs> So yeah, that's how we Nin sort of 1940s. sort of met through like friends wise, didn't we? Mean? Yeah, well through work and like then friends because yeah. we're all friends anyway. We used to go on holiday together and everything. Then uh, yeah, we just sort of met and they split up and we got together and been together ever since. Yeah. And um, uni, hmm, I've never been the most intelligent person. Um, uni was weird at my scope. My parents. We weren't well off, so I couldn't even, even if I dreamt of going to uni, I couldn't because I didn't have the money to go, uh, anything like that. So, yeah, that was out of the question for me. I didn't do college. I think I'd done a couple of night classes, which I didn't even complete the course in that. Sociology and some English one. I, I got bored with them and stopped going to them. And that was pretty much it. But uni, nah, totally out of the question for me. So... It never sort of entered my head. Um, so then it was like maybe you went to like C 
sixth form and then you know on from that but I basically left school a week later I joined like it was I don't know if it's called a youth training scheme yeah YTS yeah youth, youth it, it training was scheme. something like that which you got trained yeah. and then you would go to placement and hopefully get they like, kept yeah. on that's what I did yeah um so uh I sort of done that I was at this placement and got like pretty much started working straight away um yeah. it was easier in the old old days like in the <laughs> 80s or whatever it was easier I could get a job quite yeah. easily you know not like these days no, no. and sometimes it was like a case of who you knew not what you knew you know so yeah. you knew somebody in the post office or the council or whatever you could pretty much get a job straight away you know yeah and i've so apart from two weeks i've worked ever since leaving school yeah i think i had it was either one year or two years on the dole when i was quite a bit younger and that's it and i've worked ever since Mm-hmm. But I always wanted to be a hairdresser um, when I was younger and I did go to like a type of college and I absolutely hated it. Your beauty school dropout. Yeah. Beauty school dropout. Didn't have the pink no hair to graduation go with it though. <laughs> day for you. Um, yeah, I, I really, that's what I always wanted I to do. I as then, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> um, and I really couldn't get it. I just hated it. Um, and then I've always I've just sort of worked in offices and places like that. Really, mm. I've, I'm not doing anything like what I thought because I, I I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do when I left school. You know, when you have your careers lessons, things like that. Um, so I went. I done retail. I done like youth training scheme at retail, then employment training. Uh, retail management. And I found that the places pretty much just used you for cheap labour. Uh, I actually walked out of one of the places. I was like, nah, because I was there for management, to learn management stuff. The other is packing boxes. So I didn't even want to say anything. So I thought, one day I just didn't even go back. I got into loads of trouble for it, off the course. Um, but no, I thought, I'm not going to be used like that. To, to, I'm there to learn management stuff, you know, the the bookkeeping, whatever, to, the management side of things. But no, just wanted us to go lugging boxes around and things like that. But for George, I would really hope that um, I mean, she leaves next year. Hmm. And we're hoping that she's going to do some type of college course and that. Um, oh, yeah, I really hope she does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. That's what we would like for her anyway. Enough, but thank you for your questions. Yes, keep them coming. Any questions, you know, just send them across. We've actually really enjoyed doing these. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, keep them coming. But anyway, that's that's it now. It's like twenty five past eight. Um I'll get Time going now. Yeah. <laughs> Time to watch T V then like settle down. So thanks so much for popping by and I hope you've all had a great weekend and we'll catch you all very soon.